Hello there, my name is Brian and I'm a student ambassador with the Disability Service. I'm here to talk about the code of practice that the Trinity Disability Service uses. Every student will be asked to read and agree to the Trinity Code of Practice when registering with the Disability Service on mytcd.ie. What is the code of practice? The Trinity Code of Practice for students with disabilities is an important document and you should read it fully in order to understand its contents if you wish to avail of support and reasonable accommodations provided by the Disability Service. In this video, we will briefly explain what the Trinity Code of Practice is all about and we'll explain what stage in the registration process you need to agree to it. The Trinity Code of Practice for students with disabilities is essentially terms and conditions that you must agree to during your registration process online with the Disability Service in order to avail of supports. It is a six page document and its purpose is twofold. It outlines to students with disabilities their rights and responsibilities in receiving reasonable accommodations in Trinity. It defines Trinity's rights and responsibilities to students with disabilities and a Trinity community. The Trinity Code of Practice also outlines the policy on confidentiality and how and when your information is disclosed to different departments within Trinity. This is to ensure that you as a student can have access to reasonable accommodations. Trinity encourages students with disabilities to disclose information of their disability or specific learning difficulty to the disability service before they enter Trinity or at any point during their studies. Such disclosure is encouraged so that Trinity can recognise any specific reasonable accommodation that you need and once identified can be facilitated in conjunction with you. If you request and are granted a reasonable accommodation, the disability service will, in consultation with you, only share that information with the people responsible for helping you access that reasonable accommodation. You will first encounter the Trinity Code of Practice for Students with Disabilities when you register with the Disability Service on the mytcd.ie portal. At step 5 in the registration process, you will be asked to read it and indicate whether you've read the Code of Practice and whether you agree to it. Tick yes if you've fully read it and agree to the points outlined in it. Please be aware that if you do not agree to the points outlined and take note of the Code of Practice, then you'll be unable to fully register with the Disability Service and will not receive reasonable accommodations to support you within Trinity. If you have questions about the Code of Practice, then contact a member of the Disability Service staff to discuss it. You can read the Trinity Code of Practice in full on the Disability Service website. You will also discuss the Code of Practice in more detail at your one-to-one -one or group meeting with a member of the Disability Service team before any reasonable accommodations are put in place. Hopefully this video has helped you to understand the Trinity Code of Practice. We hope to see you soon.